So I've got a question, how to create a SaaS product as a beginner with incorporating no-code tools to speed up execution? So in other words, can you build a startup without knowing how to code or just with no-code tools? Depends on what you want to build. When you look at no-code solutions, they are nothing new. No-code solutions have been around for decades now, and uh, we and all a no-code solution is, is an abstraction over some other technology, meaning a layer on top of something. And all the modern languages, JavaScript, Python, PHP, Ruby, Swift, uh, and so on, so forth, Java, C Sharp, they're all layers on top of other technologies as well. So don't look at low-code as being something uh, new, something special. They're not. They're just the next step in that abstraction advancement, if you will. So to answer your qu question, can you develop SaaS products as a beginner, meaning you don't know anything about code, with no code tools? Potentially, but it's going to be more of a challenge. When you're developing a SaaS business, uh, the software is not actually the hard part. The hard part is figuring out the use case. The hard part is figuring out what exactly does the software do that makes it compelling enough for people to pay for it? And that usually comes down to you having a really good understanding of the business problem or the business that you're trying to solve. Whether you solve it with no code or uh, the web stack, or in some cases you may need mobile apps to do it, et cetera, and so on, it's, that's almost secondary. So that said, I would suggest... Uh, depending on the type of product that you want to build, I would suggest that the first step would be to uh, learn at least the basics of development. Now, I'm assuming if it's a SaaS product, you're probably going to de deliver it via web app of some sort. So I would learn at least the basics of web app development. You can get your head wrapped around the basics and uh, maybe 300 hours of work. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to develop what I call the nerd eyes, the ability to discern the landscape around you. And having that basic understanding is just going to make you far more productive, even if you end up using no-code tools. So as a pro developer, I've been doing this for 30 years, would I use a no-code tool set, no-code platform, or maybe a couple of them, if I thought that they could do the job, they could allow me to deliver my SaaS to the market? 100%. 100%. One of my top rules of development for something I've been talking about and teaching for many, many, many years now, the top three rules of development is number one, reuse, number two, reuse, and number three, reuse. You don't go looking for code to write. You want to find solutions that are out there and then write code if you have to. So for example, for my current SaaS Studio Web, which I've, I've had, I don't know, a million, two million students on it. Many, many districts have used it over the years. Districts are using it today. And I use it my, in my own mentoring program. It automates the learning process and the teaching process to a great extent. And before we wrote one line of code, I looked out into the market and I searched out any platforms that, are, that were already out there to see whether or not they could do the job. Maybe I could take something that was out there and modify it to my needs. That was our first instinct. And we actually built out a prototype of what eventually became the Studio Web app. I built it out on top of a open source platform called Moodle, which is an edu educational platform. But we couldn't get Moodle for a whole bunch of different reasons to do what I wanted it to do. It was too different from what Studio Web is. Very, very different, actually, than what it is now. But we did attempt it. And actually, the very, very first version of Studio Web, primitive, primitive version, which looks like nothing like what it is today, was actually a Moodle, modified Moodle implementation. So, yeah, you can build a SaaS product uh, using no code tools if the tools can do it. You may find that. A particular no-code platform could take you halfway there, but that other half, it's going to be a real, really difficult to get it done with a no-code tools. That being said, again, let me emphasize, understanding the fundamentals of uh, software development is going to go a long way, even if you use no-code tools. That's it. I hope that helps. I'm Uncle Steph. Mm -hmm.